Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals, and uh, guys, we're seeing that uh, we're seeing the the, the cryptocurrencies now uh, going green. We're seeing some green, so that's what we wanted to to see. I'm out here at the beach. You guys can actually see that. So that's a uh, that's a great time to be alive. We're seeing things are moving in the right direction. We're seeing all the we're seeing all the craziness right now is about to end. We got the Miami Bitcoin conference that's almost over, so that's pretty good. We had the hawkish Jeremy Powell, who uh, you know FOMC meetings that you know tankity tank the crypto. That's gone. So we'll have to wait till we'll have to wait till next time. We'll have to wait till next time uh, when uh, you know the new FOMC meeting happens and uh, you know the markets start to go down again. Uh, so that's definitely going to be happening sooner than later. So you know what we're seeing right now, we're seeing all the leverage longs right now. Uh, the leverage longs in the house have uh, you know they they're out of there. They all got wrecked, and now we're seeing that the short position is building up. So that is pretty good from that perspective. And we're going to start to see the Bitcoin move. And we are seeing the Bitcoin moving in the right direction. We're seeing the total market cap right now is about $2.06 trillion in the house. And, you know, Bitcoin is around about 43,600, 43,800. So that is, that is good that we're moving up. Uh, we're still well below our $45,000 area that we definitely need to get up. And we will get up there. You know, this is very, you know, crypto is very cyclical. We see these things time and time again. Uh, so that from that perspective, I wouldn't panic too much. Uh, you know, there's still a lot of goodness out there. There's still, you know, a lot of institutions start to uh, buy in. We're seeing that the whole, uh, you know, the amount of Bitcoin on exchanges right now is going down. It's the lowest it's ever been. 13% of uh, the Bitcoin, on ex the, you know, the level of Bitcoin on exchange right now, about 13%. So that is, you know, and we've not seen this ever before. We've never seen this low before. We have not seen this in like f over five years. So that is a, a positive catalyst just on its own from that perspective. And you can see that you know the amount of people that are still hodling, people are still not selling. It's still it's still happening. Yeah, sure, we're having some of these uh, dormant wallets that are now becoming active again. And you know, there's no telling: are they going to be selling? Are they going to be hodling? Are they going to be you know depositing their crypto and getting APY? So from that perspective, we really don't know yet. One of the biggest news is news to happen to crypto in a very long time is that Strike has announced integration with Shopify to facilitate Bitcoin payments via the Lightning Network, and this is absolutely, absolutely huge. This was, uh, you know, this was uh, revealed at the uh, at the Bitcoin conference. So the latest integration will enable Shopify merchants in the United States to receive faster and cheaper Bitcoin payments via Layer Two scaling solution, Bitcoin Lightning Network. So this is huge, guys. And uh, you know, this uh, digital payment platform, Strike, has announced integration with e-commerce giant. Uh, Shopify and that will enable merchants to you know accept Bitcoin and you know you're going to be able to you know buy stuff at McDonald's buy stuff at Starbucks you know Walmart anywhere that you know Shopify is accepted and their and their their credit card so this is really huge in the house and this was a huge announcement that we saw being unveiled in the house uh, you know uh, at the Bitcoin uh, conference in Miami so that is pretty cool in the house so that is huge huge in the house guys you're like so what can we expect this weekend in terms of price uh, for Bitcoin? I think this weekend we're probably going to see Bitcoin get itself back up to 45000 At least by Monday we'll see $45,000 incoming for Bitcoin. And, you know, I think for I think for Ethereum right now we're also going to see Ethereum definitely going to be back up above the uh, $3,500 range. So that is going to be cool. We know that's going to happen. I'm pretty confident it's going to happen. And I think that we're going to see, uh, you know, uh, the Doja Wozier is probably going to get itself up to $0.16 cents in the house, guys. So, you know, just wait for that. And I still believe that April, April, end of April, we're still going to be seeing like $50,000 Bitcoin coming in. We're going to be seeing at least $4,200 uh, $4, to $4,200 Ethereum coming in. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident, pretty confident in the house that we could see 21%, 21 cent a Dogecoin coming in. And we're seeing, you know, a lot of resistance at 16 cents in the house. But, you know, once we get past that, we can stay past that and get confirmed on a 24 hour basis. You know, we're definitely going to be seeing that Dogecoin is going to push to 21 cents in now. So I'm I'm pretty confident about that. You should be confident about that. So what should you be doing in the time uh, in the meantime? Well, like I said, you know, there's still a lot of uh, good pickups right now. We're seeing, you know, most of the crypto is down on the on the seven uh, seven day time frame. So I think it's really a good, absolutely good idea that you think about picking up uh, some some crypto on sale. Because, you know, it's a huge sale. It's absolutely a huge sale. And, uh, you know, you're going to re absolutely regret it. Remember, this is not financial advice. You're going to regret it if you don't buy the dips. And, uh, you know, and another thing that I do every Thursday is I, I dollar cost average. It doesn't matter what the price of Bitcoin is. Doesn't want, it doesn't matter what the price of Ethereum is. Doesn't matter what the price of Avalanche is. Doesn't matter what the price is of all the layer two and also Dogecoin. I pick up, 
I, I definitely pick up uh, some of these projects out there. It doesn't matter what the price is because you know it's very hard for anyone out there to time the tops and bottoms. But by constantly setting a, a buy date, you're eventually going to you know outperform the market because you know you're going to catch the dips. Sometimes you don't catch the dips. I mean, I was lucky yesterday uh, that I did buy uh, uh, you know I did buy one a uh, Bitcoin, and I, you know right now my Bitcoin is up. The Bitcoin that I bought yesterday was at about forty-three thousand three hundred ish in the in in that range, so I'm definitely up right now. Uh, you know, if you look at the price of Bitcoin right now, which is about forty-three thousand uh, seven hundred to forty-three thousand eight hundred at the time of recording. I mean, I'm hoping by the time you're watching, it's definitely going to be higher and higher in the house, ladies and gentlemen. So, from that perspective, you know, that's what I do. That's the strategy I do. And you know, if you want to create life-changing wealth, uh, all you got to do is you got to be patient and you got to be passionate. And what I mean by being patient and passionate patient is you got to wait uh, don't panic sell and remember we are investors we're not traders here everybody that's watching this channel you all know, all know that we're in we're investing we're waiting for life changing wealth and uh, you know we're definitely going to be going up and up, up and this summer you know we should be definitely going much higher than where we are right now so that is that is really positive that is a positive perspective in the house that you know I definitely would wait for the wait for summer we're seeing April right now April overall is not so good compared to where it normally is. Uh, but you know, we've had some catalysts, we've had the FOMC. We have, you know, like we're moving into hyperinflation. We're gonna have the uh, definitely CPI data coming out next week. And the CPI data is gonna be really, really crappy in the house. And we're definitely gonna be seeing that the CPI data is definitely gonna be much worse than it was uh, last month. You know, last month it was 8%. We're gonna be looking at least nine, nine, ten percent And you know, when that happens, the market's gonna tank and at some point, at some point, people are absolutely going to understand and realize that you know the only good hedge against inflation out there is going to be the cryptocurrency. It's only going to be Bitcoin, and that is going to be a huge hedge against inflation, guys. So, booyah, definitely, that's going to be very, very important. And you're going to see more and more institutions are starting to ape into crypto. More institutions are going to be starting to ape into Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we did have Yellen, the felon, yesterday who came out, uh, and she did said say in an interview that you know uh, crypto needs to be regulated like other financial uh, products so that is good you know she's kind of really changing her tune out there because she was a real debbie downer when it comes to crypto she's saying oh you know crypto's bad crypto's nefarious out there but you know she's changing her tune and realizing that you know she's gonna have to treat it like any other commodity out there and it's gonna have to be regulated so that is good because once we get clarity absolute clarity with regulation that is going to allow a lot of institutions to ape in like never before and you just imagine if we have, you know, every single corporation in America, if they take 5% of their revenue and, uh, you know, plow that into Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, what that's going to do for the market cap, what is that is going to do for the market cap of cryptocurrency is the market cap is going to absolutely explode like never, ever before. And you're going to see millionaires made overnight, guys. Absolutely millionaires are going to be made overnight. And, you know, you know, we're seeing that, you know, Nova, Mike Novogratz and, and, you know, the Sar Scaramucci now, they're all saying exactly the same thing. They're all playing the same tune out there. And that tune is that we're going to see uh, Bitcoin going up to $500,000 in the house in 2024, 2025. This is huge, guys. Do you understand how huge that is? And that is why the OG is betting the farm on Bitcoin, betting the farm on Ethereum and betting the farm on uh, Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies because these these things are actually going to be going up and I'm preparing myself for life changing wealth out there. Remember, this is not financial advice and you should do the same. Remember, never ever, you know, use your rent, never ever, you know, use your food money to buy crypto because that is a bad thing, guys. Remember, this is, you got to be patient. You got to stop psyching yourself out and you got to have the psychology of an investor and the psychology of an investor is out there. You've got to be patient and you don't want to psych yourselves out by panicking every time you see the markets go down, de -de 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 down, down. So you've got to really be patient and you've got to be really agnostic also about, uh, you know, your crypto projects. You've got to have diversification out there. So that is very key, key, key. It's crucial that you diversify out there. So that is what I'm talking about, guys. So, you know, you guys, you know, this is this is the huge time to be alive. This is the crypto revolution, your financial future, my financial future, guys. None of this is financial advice, but I'm so excited, guys. We're just on the, the you know, we're just there. We're just about to take off, guys. We're, on the, we're actually on the precipice of life changing wealth and the change is absolutely coming, guys. So this is huge. You know it, I know it. So let's get it, guys. So this is a great time to be alive. So let's check out, let's check out the coin in the house. Let's check out the coinage in the house and let's check out the total market cap, guys. So 
you know, things are turning green. Things are becoming more and more positive in the house, guys. So right now we're seeing that the total market cap is around about 2.06 trillion in the house. And we're seeing that the total volume right now is about 60.82 billion. And we're seeing that the Bitcoin dominance is now at 40.29%. So that's uh, that's pretty good. We're seeing it dropping a little bit. We still need the Bitcoin DOMs to go below uh, 30, uh, 38 percent, and that's going to be once once the big Bitcoin DOMs goes down between 38 uh, percent, we're going to see uh, you know a lot of the old coins start to pump, guys. So that is pretty cool beans in the house, guys. Absolutely cool beans in the house. Right now we see that uh, you know the Bitcoin right now is up at 0.41 percent. It's at 43,652. So that's that's pretty decent, and it's up from where it was earlier this morning here in Vietnam. Here in Vietnam, the uh, price of Bitcoin was at 43,350. So that is good. We're seeing Ethereum is also coming back right now. It's at 3,286 dollars, and that's at 1.86. We're seeing BNB is also up 1 percent right now. And we're seeing that Solana is up uh, coming back into life at 3.22%. Uh, That's at $118. Luna Tuna is still down, guys. I don't know what's going on with Luna Tuna. Uh, it's down 4.19%. It's at 102. ADA is also up right now. It's up. Uh, it's a, a buck at 09. Avalanche is up. Dot is up. And the Dozier Wozier is just slightly below 15 cents in the house. And that's at 1.58 percent just dropped down to 1.6 percent so that is not too bad things are looking okay the shibi weebi is also uh, up uh, slightly right now so that is okay uh you know we're gonna see things coming back guys absolutely coming back this is going to bring this video to an end don't forget to go down there smash the likes subscribe BYB, boop that like and subscribe like like a madman guys and show some love with some super chats i would really really appreciate it you know you want it i want it let's get it guys show some love show some love for the og guys i'm not feeling love i'm gonna cry and uh, don't forget to go down there check out the linky links we got links everywhere become a patreon member buy the channel coffee you know you want it and uh, one other thing don't forget to check out the merch guys the links down there and uh you know show some love guys so be blessed be well boop that like be humble out there crypto's a jungle like crypto's absolutely a jungle guys you know you want it i want it let's get it guys and be patient be patient don't panic sell don't you know don't go nuts don't blow your load guys it's an absolute great time so i'm at the beach guys i'm at the beach i'm literally i'm literally at the beach guys i've got sand blowing in my ears in my face and it's a great time to be alive so i'll see you guys all in the next one uh there should be another one coming out in about two hours so you guys set your alarms set your clocks get excited buckle up because it's going to be a huge bar burner we got some huge news and you guys want to get it so let's get it guys let's go down the crypto rabbit hole with the og god bless you see you in the next one